Now this does have the TomTom Tom navigation system and there's a camera up top here on this light. It's a uh, red light, you can see right here it says red light photo enforced. It just beeped at me to let me know that there's a camera up here. I love that they do that. So <laughs> even if like you forget, their car will tell you that there's a camera and that it'll help prevent you from getting a ticket. I love that they do that. And I guess that TomTom Tom is new for the Uconnect 5 system also. Welcome back to JB Reviews. Today we're gonna to do a video on this 2021 Dodge Durango. Guys, check this out. I love this front fascia lift. This thing looks so amazing. Cannot wait to show you the guys the front dash. I think they did a really good job and looking forward to what the new Grand Cherokee is gonna look like. Let's get into it. Now in the video today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over a few things that I wish they would have done on this facelift to really bring it home. Cause I think it's still missing a few design elements to make it really stand out. If you are familiar with the Dodge Durango, you can clearly tell that they did do a facelift. The headlights are new, the grill design, the front bumper, even down to the fog lights. Everything is pretty much new up front and it looks amazing. I love the way it looks, it looks very classy. And these headlights are gonna be full LED. So you have LED high and low beams. You have a accent light around the headlight that are gonna be LED. Turn signals are LED. Just below they have a dual beam fog light and you can see your parking sensors. Love that they have them color match. Even on this black piece, they blend in the parking sensors too. And I just think they did a good job. I mean, the front end of this looks amazing. And as you guys can see, you have that hood scoop up front. This is gonna be the RT. And you have these heat extractors on the side. My Hellcat has these and they have this for the 5.7 too. And you can actually feel a little bit of heat coming out of there. So they do definitely work. When you move on to the side, you can kind of tell that they did carry over a lot. As far as these wheels go, these are from 2020 and even earlier model years. These are gonna be a 20 inch wheel wrapped in. 265, 50, 20. And check out the fabric material inside the wheel wells. That is gonna help with cleaning this up and it should help with road noise. They do give you the Hemi badge on the side. Nothing new there. They do give you the black mirror cast. Now this is the black top package. And while we're on this note, let's go ahead and take a look at the window sticker so you guys can see what's optional and standard equipment. Now, as just mentioned, this is a 2021 Dodge Durango RT with the black top with all wheel drive. Base price is going to be $47,905. Now this was painted with the octane red pearl coat and it does have the black interior and 5.7 is going to be standard for the RT. And then here's a listing of your standard equipment. Everything that you see moving forward will be optional equipment. So for $7.95, they do have leather trim bucket seats, ventilated front seats, floor console with leather armrests, and leather wrapped door panels. You do have a technology group for $23.95, and that's what's included in there. Black top package is going to give you those black accents for the exterior. You do have a trailer tow group. It's going to give you a class 4 receiving hitch, 2 speed, transfer case, and trailer brake and I'll show that to you in a second now if you do plan on towing with this extensively maybe with a travel trailer or a cargo trailer I'm going to show you another package that I just added for 2021 the tow go package is definitely a package to consider if you're towing $49.95 but it gives you a lot of good features like the black Brembo front brake calipers heavy duty engine cooling performance exhaust and suspension trailer brake 20 by 10 inch wheels and they do upgrade the tires they are going to be run flat tires however so run flat tires do give it a bumpier ride but be sure to take a look at everything else in this package and let's get back to the video finishing off the options you do have the cargo plus group second row fold and tumble captain chairs power sunroof 19 speaker harman Kardon, and blind spot with cross path detection destination comes in at $14.95 with a total price of $59,655. Now this does have MDS, which is multi-displacement. And what that's gonna do is if you're driving on the highway, it's gonna drop it down to four cylinders 
and that's going to help you attain that higher 22 mile per gallon now in the city it doesn't work so you're going to get slightly lower fuel mileage with a combined at 17. all right we're going to do a zero to 60. oh actually hold on, i'm going to stop again let's wait till this other car comes here we go too bad 6.6 zero to 60 and that's with that 5.7 man that thing has really good pickup too maybe in the future if i can find a used one i'll do a um towing test with one with my new trailer i mean granted i'm not gonna lie i'm probably not gonna tow it on the road but i mean it's a 28 foot trailer that's pretty big for something like this so i probably wouldn't go much more than maybe around like a parking lot just to see how well it handles the weight but all in all, really good changes for the Durango. I think that if anyone's in the market for an SUV, this is a perfect fit for any family. So now that you've seen the window sticker, you guys can kind of tell that the overall side view is not much different from the 2020 and earlier. And the same thing goes for the back too. The only difference back here is they did restyle your spoiler. So that's slightly different and that's really all i can really see here i'm gonna take this tag off so you guys have a better look but you do have your blacked out badges from that package and dual exhaust just below and they give you a cover for your class 4 receiving hitch and you can see those parking sensors out back too now the sun is on this side so you can kind of see a better view of that octane red i think it looks really good with this gray colored wheel and those black mirror caps and one thing I want to show you too is you do have a black accent on the roof rails too. There's no chrome on here. I mean, the only thing that sticks out is like the tail lights back here, but overall, really nice. Love these black mirror caps. And as I mentioned, nothing wrong with taking a look at this front fascia again. It looks amazing. All right, so we're going to drive the Durango. And I must say, like, I really do like the way this handles like this has a sport tune suspension i had a durango in the past it was a gt model and i didn't like the way it felt it felt like a minivan it felt like it had a lot of sway to it and i compared it to a grand cherokee but this with the 5.7 it definitely does feel really secure with this sport suspension and having that power just goes hand in hand with the two it's a really windy day today too, and I don't get like a lot of wind noise inside the cabin. I feel like it's really, really good actually. I, I think that the tires work well with it. I think that it has like a lot of sound deadening. And I tighten up the steering in the settings here, and I can definitely tell that that's helped me too. The only thing I don't like about this lane keep assist is like if you don't put your signal on, it does not disable, and it's sometimes in Maryland, Sometimes you just have to jump over because if you put that signal on, people are going to speed up on you. As far as this door card goes, everything looks pretty much the same as the 2020. I do like the Harman Kardon uh, grill surround for the speaker. Now, this piano black and these buttons look new for 2021. I do like the overall accents on the door. You have red stitching. I like that it matches the exterior of the car. And they do it on the seats too. As far as the seats go, everything looks pretty normal but when you take a look at the dash like that's pretty much what's new for 2021 so let's go ahead and start it up it is freezing and it is windy today so i'm sorry if you're hearing it in the camera but man look at that screen that is a 10.1 inch screen you can get an 8.4 on lower trim levels but this does come standard for the rt so if i push the button to the run position you can see that it shows Dodge and then Durango in the center screen here. Now this is all redone for 2021. It looks amazing too. I like the accent around the gauge too. And overall, I, mean, I, I think that this system is probably gonna be still number one in the marketplace. Now, as far as everything goes, let's go ahead and start it. Right out of the gate, they do give you performance pages for 2021 for the RT. Now normally for the SRT and Hellcat, and the Hellcat is gonna be new for 2021 for the Durango. They give you these, like I have it on my Hellcat charger. 
and it's such a good feature. I mean, you can pretty much see your zero to 60 times. So maybe I'll have a chance to do that for you guys today. Uh, it gives you your lap history if you want to take this on the track. There's just so many things on that that are pretty unique and not a lot of SUVs in this category are going to have that. Now this does have the radar cruise control too, which is right here. It's going to have lane keep assist. This is something that you've probably seen in the past. It's going to show your MPG and moving on down your trip A and trip B is listed in here too. As you saw, this truck does have a trailer brake under the trailer tow package. If you were to pull this, this is going to show you the percentage of brake that you're using. So when you're going to set up your trailer, you can just pull this to see how much uh, braking you're getting from your trailer. And if you need to set the gain, you have a plus and minus right here. And so you can set how much braking you want from your trailer. So if you are planning on towing, or even if you're not really planning on towing a trailer, I strongly recommend just having this. This does add resale value when you go to trade this in because a lot of Durangos don't normally have this option on it. So if you plan on towing, I strongly recommend, especially with the 5.7, it just makes sense because this tows quite a bit of weight. So it's just something to consider if you are in the market for this. Moving on down, you do have a screen in here for your radio. And any stored messages, like if you have a bulb out, things like that, it'll show up in here too. And if you need to set up your screen, like if you like to change some of the formats, like your compass is, um, I don't know, where, where is your compass at? I guess it's right here, it's just not showing up, but you can change that to your outside temperature, or you can just put nothing there. You can actually even put your trailer gain, your trip information, I mean, there's so many ways that you can set this up and then same thing goes for the upper right and then they have defaults too it'll show your current gear which i like to have this on so whoever is buying this will thank me i like to see what gear i'm in every time i'm driving and then you can change your favorite menus too so if i click over uh, it'll show you which you want to show so basically i can take out the trailer tow i can take out the audio i probably would take out the audio i find that the screen is pretty close, so you don't really need that to show up in here. So what that's going to do for your favorite menus is when you're going through here looking for things, you're able to take things out that you're not going to use. That's something about Dodge that's so cool is that they do a lot of things to help you customize this to make this your car. When you see the overall front dash, you can tell that this has been restyled. And this is all new too up top. And huge screen. Love these. Uh, vent designs too. It looks really nice. This piano black material around the screen and on the vents and on the doors, they just look really good. You see that red stitching going across the dash? I love the fact that they decided to move these buttons outside of the screen. Thank you FCA for doing that. I hate having to go into the screen to turn on my heated seats because sometimes when I'm driving on a trip, I leave my screen off because it's a distraction. And so if you want to turn your cool seats on, no problem. The buttons are there. Same thing goes for your heated seats. And I love how this looks. This looks so nice. I mean, this is not a Dodge. This is something higher. I mean, Fiat's doing a good job. I know a lot of people say that Fiat's not a good brand, but I'm seeing something different here. They've done a good job with just designing this. This is a mid-fresh and this is not a redesign and they've just done a really good job. But these buttons are crucial, even for like your climate control. You can control those things. You can control the volume for your radio. Um, really like that they did that too. While we're down here, they do have a charging station here for your phone. They give you four USBs. You have two type A's and two type C's and you have an auxiliary. On the side, they give you a power outlet this is going to be for your four-wheel drive system. This has all been restyled too. The only thing that's been carried over is this gear shifter. This is the only thing that was used in the 2020, but all of this has pretty much been redone. And I like that, look at that material there. I like the way that looks. They do leather wrap this on the side. And let's go ahead and take a look inside this screen. I mean, I know you guys would like to see some of the features here and this is going to be your home screen so you can see right here you're in home if you would like to enlarge your navigation or your audio you can just hit this button up top 
I did notice that there is a small delay in the system too. I'm not gonna lie. So the, the, this is a Uconnect 5. Uconnect 4 was extremely fast. Like when you hit a button, it would turn. This one has a delay. And like you guys can see, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just a little bit slower than what I'm used to. And so if you go back to home, it'll show you those two features there. Now you can go to navigation by pushing the button below. Sending goes for the media. If you're listening to Bluetooth audio, or anything like that you can set that up through here too it's really easy you just have to pair device and if you want to look at your climate you can do that on the screen as I mentioned before they do have it below and one thing that I like for the Uconnect system is that they do give you a performance page so it's pretty much the same thing that you saw in the screen here except you can just see it real time on your larger 10.1 inch screen but it's gonna show you your timers your gauges I like that they do this I mean this having a 5.7 a lot of people who buy this like the performance that this has and this is makes this even more advantageous for people who might have been on the fence on buying a Dodge Durango if you can't afford the SRT the 5.7 is the next best thing just to go back out I'm gonna hit vehicle again they do give you your controls too you can drop the headrest out back now they use the same camera and I don't know why they did that. Like this is very, very fuzzy. I wish they would have given this a higher quality camera because this just really takes away from this design. And especially with a big screen, it looks even worse. So they should have changed that. Now, as far as settings go, again, Dodge gives you so many ways that you can customize this to your liking. I mean, if you go to display, you can go to set theme, for example. And if you want, you can go to theme one and what it's going to do is it's going to show you just a slightly different background setting here and I mean again it's just it's something that's pretty neat because if you don't like one or the other you can just choose what you want and if you want to customize things in your lights uh, you can do that too like even in your safety and driving like if you want your lane sense strength you can set that uh, you can turn off your uh, lane sense warnings if you don't want this to beep at you, you can do that too. Your blind spot, you can turn lights or you can do a chime. And you can even set your steering. Like this does have electronic power steering. So you can set it for sport or comfort. And I'm going to set it to be a little bit tighter. So that's what sport's going to do. You can disable your paddle shifters. And just moving on down, there's just a few other things you can do. Last thing I'll show you, you do have a trailer page too where you can set up what trailer you're using. You can set the brakes to electric, heavy or light or hydraulic. And as I mentioned, you can set the lights too. So if you would like to turn your headlights on with the wipers, auto dim, high beams, all that stuff can be set up through here too. Something new for the Uconnect 5 is that you can actually set up your favorites. So if you would like to not maybe have Alexa here, you can actually remove that and you can go back to all and you can say okay i definitely want my bluetooth in there and i definitely want to have uh let's just say you want to have your comfort inside of there too you can actually put these features or excuse me you can actually add a star to the features that way it shows up in your favorites that way you're not going through so many different things because i mean look at how many different items you have on the passenger side you do have a glove box and as I showed you guys you do have a power outlet and this is pretty much about the same that you've seen on the past they give you a net here maybe to put some papers or maybe your phone and just to give you a better view of the center console you have two places you can store things this is the top one and you have two handles that you can pull here now this is going to be the larger one just below and there is a power outlet inside of here too out back they don't cheap out they still give you the stitching and the leather wrap on the uh, door cards you do have a cup holder with storage you still get the speaker surround grills out back it just doesn't say harm card on it like it does in the front and as far as our back goes again they didn't do anything different on all of this this is all the same features I was really hoping they would change some of the things back here like I was hoping they would redesign this this looks so ugly I mean I'm sorry I hate the fact that they kept this. Another thing I didn't show you up here is that they didn't redesign this and they're still using incandescent bulbs. Like there's no LED lighting inside of this SUV. I mean, these are LEDs on the sides, 
but this is not these are all incandescent bulbs i mean i just think it does dress up the interior nicely and same thing goes down here the same thing you've seen for like the last almost 10 years guys i mean it's time for them to update this uh suv i think as far as the front goes it looks amazing but you can kind of see that they cut corners i think they should have done a few things differently like adding led lights for the interior and just kind of restyling some of these features here i mean i know that this is a cheap piece that they've been using for years and it doesn't cost me anything at this point but it's time to step up because the competition is getting pretty heavy and as you guys can see here you do have the captain shares with the uh console on the floor and they do provide armrest and check out all of that stitching they even give you the dodge emblem on the seat back here too same thing goes out back they do give you the stitching on the seats and they do give you cup holders out back too now if you do not plan on using these seats they do give you a cargo cover here that you can set up they do give you ample space behind the third row seat and they give you storage just below and they give you a compartment on the side you can store things too now these seats are easy to put down all you gotta do is just push on them and push push them down same thing goes here just push them down and if you do opt to have the caption chairs in the second row, this does become a six passenger SUV. Putting the tailgate down, you just push the button. There's a slight delay, and there's a button that you can push to put it up again. Now, if you do plan on towing with the Dodge Ringo, these numbers are gonna be beneficial to you. Your GVWR is gonna be 7,100 pounds. This is up if you have a V6. I think it's 68 or 6,900 pounds. Gross axle in the front is going to be 3,200 pounds. The rear is going to be 3,900 pounds. And here's the payload capacity for the Dodge Rank, which is 1,200 pounds. The last point I want to make in this video is the Dodge Durango does compete outside of its class because of it having the V8 options in the towing capacity. And there's a lot of good competition out there. And for the Dodge Durango to stay consistent, I do like that they redid and updated the dash and the front design of the exterior, but I don't think they did enough. I think that the interior looks dated still in some places. I feel like they kind of put lipstick on a pig. And in order for them to compete at that high level and continue to stay up there, they have to redesign this and make it more desirable. Now, if they don't continue to carry on the Durango name and they plan on allowing the Jeep Grand Cherokee to have a bigger role, then I understand why they did this. But if they want to keep this as a very competitive suv i think they need to do a complete redesign but i hope this video was helpful be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video